it's your boy Kyron Simpson. You are now rocking with T King Television. Mic check, mic check, one two one two. Mic check, one two one two. Man, y'all know what it is, man. It's T King checking in. And you are now rocking with another episode, and I mean another episode of T King TV. Am I right, y'all, Sam? Huh? Hey, I ain't really gotta say too much. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all already know what it is. The referee, aka comedy man. You got what I'm saying? Talk to him, brother. Talk to well, him. Well, that was Zam, you hear me? It's your boy, Kyron Sense. I was a referee, but now I'm a comedian. Well, I'm a fucking entertainer. I knew it all. Fuck it. But we here. Fuck with it. Saying we here. So listen, uh -huh. just for y'all, just for y'all, my main man, Kyron in the building, man. What's up, bro? Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Feeling, I'm feeling good, but thanks for asking. No, why? That was my first question. Be asking like, how you feeling? You got what I'm saying? But yeah. you can't meet first. So take this out, right? For them young boys out there, right. you know what I'm saying? Niggas watch you all the time. Right. But what they don't know is where you from, right. where you grew up, and what part, right? So I need you to explain to them dudes out there. Well, that's funny because nobody know where I'm from. Right. Um, <laughs> that shit funny. Um, really from the nine world. I grew up in the East, but I went to school on the West Bank. So niggas would be ripping me like, bitch, you from Greta, bitch, you from Elgin, bitch, you from the East, but I'm from the Nine Walk. Right, 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 right. So it ain't no particular part. You just you can rep the whole Nine Walk. Yeah, I'm from the Florida Project. Okay, the Florida. Okay, well, that's fair, right? I rep the East Motor because I really grew up in the East. <laughs> you rep the East Motor? Yeah. All right, well, check this out. Bro. All right, well, look. So check this out, right? You a comedy, man. Mm -hmm. I see you the skits on stuff on uh, on Instagram. You know, I go on your page. You know what I'm saying? I had to tap into you, right? Appreciate it. So, that. let me ask you something, right? Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Like, how do you became a comedy man? Well, really, I've been doing comedy for about two years. And I've been I've been funny all my life. Right. So, so shit, my partner's a tell me, shit, you might as well do the comedy, I'll do the skits. But I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna fuck with it. And then, after my mama passed, something just clicked, like, so you might as well do it. So I did it, and now the shit just going up. Right, so basically, it was never a plan A. That just happened organically, right? Yeah. I bet, bet, bet. All right, so that's all right, so a lot of people know you from being a referee. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Boxing. Being out there in them streets. You know what I'm saying? With my main man, Hustle Man. Hustle right? Don Keith. So man, shout out to Hustle Man, right? So check this out, right? How did that come about? Like, how do one say, which is Hustle Man, Kyren, we need you to be re the uh, like the referee. Like, how did that transpire? Well, she, I went to school at, at Walker with the P90. Right, right, and right. And she had like Elvin, you know, I'd be running around Elger and shit, so I know him. Right. So she had 90, I'd be like, shit, bitch, you want to come be the ref? You already be chosen. I'm like, oh, I'll fuck with it. It happened like that. It happened like that. Cause at first nigga, nigga wasn't really gonna take it serious. And I'm like, no, I fuck it. And I just chose that bitch. And the crowd loved you ever since. Or uh, what? Like a dog, right? Like a dog. Okay, that's P. Hey, them both talking about some. It's the rough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rough for you. Yeah, hey, I be hearing that. And then you got a uh, a rough sure. shirt. That was fire. I had to. I had to peep you out. You know I peep the swag out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to come slid through. Yeah, I look dirty swag. Yeah, man. Hey, 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 right? So check this out, right? You were there at the P90 fight with Chris. Right. You was there. Which one, though? <laughs> the one I think they had in Harahan. Or the second one. The second one. That was more like a get together for me, but yeah, it was a fight. It was a fight. It was a fight. <laughs> it was a fight. You funny, bro. Tell us, tell us, tell us, like. In your perspective, right? In your opinion, like how did that end? You know what I'm saying? Cause it look, a lot of people out there, they won't know like why did Kyron stop? Like how did it happen for Kyron? Like why did Kyron just stop being right for me? Because you honestly, you had went missing for a couple of fights. They had another nigga out there. Okay. And nigga was checking for you. Right. I had to explain that situation. But I ain't had nothing to say. Right. Cause I didn't know. Explain it to them dudes out there. All right, so um, they had a little altercation between 90 and Hustle. Uh, I don't really get too deep in their situation because that's them. And shit, they just separated. So it was trench boxing with 
with Hustler and 90 had his own own boxing thing. Right. So shit, I went with 90 because he the one that really really brought me in, brought me into it. Right. So I had to show my my loyalty by you know I'm gonna go ahead and fuck with 90. But Hustle shit, he respected my decision. And the, and the people didn't really know that 90 left. Right. So they were like, shit, what a ref at, what a ref at? And they were looking for me because I was just so hype and I just fucking brought my energy. But the energy to yeah. the crowd. And he missed that because like, hold up, uh-uh, time out, just stop missing. <laughs> right, right. It's ref. Okay, okay, that's cool, right? So let me mm -hmm. let me make this up, right? Cause now you now you you know, from speed, right? Just up, right? Hustle man go away. 90 tends to he went away too, in a sense. Right. right? Kyron disappeared. You still stay in New Orleans? Nah, I moved to LA. Why? Like, why the move? Um, for one, it was like, it was the perfect timing. And shit, another thing, shit, better opportunity. Okay. Way better opportunity. Like, what you mean by that better opportunity? For them, for them dudes out there, because they don't understand me, see better opportunity. Because everybody be looking at New Orleans and say, New Orleans have this, 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 this. Like this thing going on where, you know, if we could be here and, we, and if we could change, it'd be X and Y, Z. Right. I'm of the mindset, that'll probably never happen. Be, just because of all, all the killing going on, right? Right. What are your perspective of the situation and why you feel like it's a better opportunity out there? Well, to be honest, shit, everybody know about LA, that's it's just bigger and, and better out there. That would make the movies, like, shit, that's everything. Facts, and, facts. and New Orleans, to be honest, shit, everywhere I go, Shit, I'm always repping New Orleans like that. Yeah, I'm from here, New Orleans, this, we that. But shit, when I'm up there, I'm like, yeah, try to miss home. But it's different because, because shit, like, we we smaller. Right. Like our population, like shit, we got like 300,000 people. Right. Versus LA County alone, got like eight to 10 million people. Right, right, right. So. That's big. And out here, I've only been doing comedy for like two years. Mm -hmm. I got. I got, I got around people that been doing it for years down here, and the big names in the city. Right. Like, shit, they fucking with me already, and right. shit, I only took two years, so if I do that up in LA, and it's way bigger out there, fuck anything I have. I can imagine it, right? Right. Okay, that's true. Let me ask you something. Normally, I, I would ask the artist this. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and ask you this. Just to see where your mindset is, right? All right. In the next four to six years, where do you see yourself for as being a comedy man in the next 46 years? In the next 46 years? Yeah. Shit. To be honest, I really see myself like really doing it big, like on the on the movies. Right. Just doing like shit. Nigga, I'm looking at me like this dude really did his thing. Like he really left. And like to be honest, like shit, all my life I've been the dude that always like shit, when I say something, I'ma do it. Right. So now that I did this move, in my head I'm like, I gotta do it. Like, ain't no choice. So shit, in 46 years, I'm gonna see my little big screen. Big screen, now you have it, Jimmy. So check this out, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do something different. Right? Mm -hmm. It's time to play a game. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. okay time to play a game. So I'm gonna ask you three questions. I need you to answer them three questions. But if you don't, this for that Michael Jackson. You've been hit by, yeah. you've been hit by a smooth criminal. I got you, I got you. All right, so check this out, right? So if I told you, uh, if I say these names, right, in particular, right? If I say somebody like Ha Ha Davis, um, Country Rain, what would you say? All right, so if you say names like that, like what, like? You gotta pick out one of them dudes, Ha Ha Davis, or Country Wayne. But what would you say? Like, who, um. Who you picking? I'm fucking with Country Wayne. Country Wayne? Country Wayne. Over Ha Ha Davis? Over Ha Ha. Okay. Like, landslide, easy. Easy. Country okay. Wayne. Well, hey, man, sound like Country Wayne, man. Because, you know, Wayne. I see you. You're, you know, you, you really out there doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I need that interview, too, dog. Real talk. So, check this out, right? Let's bring it back home. Let's bring it back home. All right. Mm -hmm. New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So, if I told you somebody like Rob Kazi, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mario P, huh? Mm -hmm. well, what would you say? 
Okay, you made it a little tougher. Oh, you brought you it say? home to the home, bitch. Talk right. to him. Is it Mario Pete or Rob Cosby? Rob Cosby. Uh, damn. Fuck it. I'm gonna have to go with Rob. Rob it is. I can tell you why. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You wanna need to explain to some dudes out there. I don't? No, no, no. You need I to. Do. Because they got some dudes who really love Mario Pete. Yeah. Ooh, they gonna come knocking the door like, yeah. Who was that about? Talk to him. I fuck with both of them. What? But I've been fucking with Mario P the longest because Rob came out of nowhere to me. But I but I I searched up, you heard me? Did my little homework. He been doing it for a minute, like at the same time as Mario P. Right. But Mario he he more in like like the hood type shit with it. Like if you can touch the hood, right. but you but you fuck it, but you touching the whole city. Right. I, I fuck with that. But I chose Rob because mm -hmm. I'm more into like the acting, acting part of it. So like I'm trying to like catch his shit, see how he go about it, so I could probably like try to tweak my shit, not as the same as him, but try to learn from it, right. and then just throw me in it. Be like, oh. So what you saying is, Rob more versatile in his skits. Yeah. What you saying? Yeah. Like okay. Mario P, he got like four, five different characters, but Rob, they got like ten, twenty. <laughs> Okay, well that's fair to see, right? So man, shout out to Rob Cosby, yeah. man. And see me, I got 12 characters, so I'm, uh, so I'm almost there. Okay. 12 I respect that, right? So let me, all right, so look. One more. Okay. If I say somebody like Kevin Hart, Tracy Morgan, mm -hmm. Cat Williams, huh? Well, what would you say? Tracy Morgan, Kevin Hart, Cat Williams. I'm gonna have to go with the first comedian I seen on TV when I was little. Which is? I'm gonna have to go with Cat Williams. <sighs> That's the first nigga I seen. He, he an asshole. And he, he like, the reason why, because my um, my um daddy used to always watch him. Right. And he's always cussing. Right. So, so mama come in the room, ah, turn that fucking shit off. All he do is curse. My little boy right there, my, my mama like, but you just cursed. You say, bitch, turn that shit off. <laughs> but it was funny. Right, right, right. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fucking with Kat. But I, but right now I fuck with Kevin more because got the shit that he doing. Mm -hmm. like, he just a top of the fucking comedy game. You like, right. He up there. You was you tuned know? in when they had that little commotion going back and forth with Kevin Hart and uh Cat, Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. You was tuned in. Yeah. Who was you rocking with around that time? Around that time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I could be honest. Could you? Nigga, cause you, cause you had to pick a side. Right. It wasn't no you rocking with X and Y and Z, and you rocking with Kevin Hart too. Right. You had to pick a side. Uh huh. Who you like? Who side you pick right, at that particular so, time? Being from New Orleans. Right. I was rocking with me, cause I'm not about to write <laughs> and tell you who I was rocking with. You know, right. gonna be like, you know, oh, hey, 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 you know you dancing on me right now. You know you dancing. I, I dance. asked you a specific question. And you I said you rockin' with you? Answer. I said, oh, them dudes. Them you gotta excuse right. yourself, Kyron right, Come on so, now. All right, all right, so K. Williams and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, when they was beefing, going through the situation, right, when look. nigga was saying Kevin Hart not really funny, what would you say? I'm going with Cat Hart and Kevin Williams. <laughs> hey, see now this one that Michael Jackson gonna come right <laughs> in. You gonna slide, <laughs> and you gonna slide it, right? All right, so take this drive, right? So look. I'm gonna go with Kevin. Kevin. You, you going with Kevin? Cat, Cat, Cat. You going with Cat? Yeah. All right, so look. I take it, okay, well, I, I take it, man. Respect. Shout out to Ken Williams, man. And, hey, and Kevin Hart, too, dog. Right now, I see you doing your thing. So, look, my next question, right? So, get off the games. My next question. Second to the last question. All right. When you go back home, mm -hmm. right? You back in LA, right? Yeah. What's next for Kyra? Well, I already got it planned out. Okay. I got some shoes up there that I gotta get back to. That's why I gotta leave at a certain time down here. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna get into acting more. I'm doing the comedy thing up there, I'm getting booked and stuff, but I wanna get into acting more. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean towards that. But I'm still be doing the, the skit, so my foot always on your neck. Hey, hey, hey. That was a plug just now, you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of niggas don't get that on their show. But me, my man going to get it to me all the time. Like, I got what I'm saying? I appreciate that, buddy. So, look. This is a side note. I ain't really write it down, but it's a side note, right? 
do you feel like you always have a platform for dudes like yourself? To be honest, I kind of say yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. Okay. Why? I say, I say yeah because, because wait. But shit, back to going with Mario and who else you said, Rob, right? Rob Cosby. They been right. doing it for like 10 plus years down here. Right. And they really building their platform, which is building a platform for New Orleans too. Right. And so now everybody tuning in on the city like, okay, they talented. So they probably got some other talent down there. Then another thing we saying no is because of the, of the hate level that's down here. Okay. I mean, shit, there's no hate everywhere. Shit, with New Orleans being so small, right. everybody hating like, like they much quicker on some shit. So you feel like niggas hating on you? Oh no, not on me. Not on you. No, I'm, I'm just saying niggas hate regardless. I In mean, general? Man, right. I mean shit, I probably do got haters, but I don't know. Okay. Well, do you feel like you get the respect that you deserve? From comedians? No. But from the audience and from the people? Of course. Because to be honest, I don't really care what the comedians say, to be honest. Not to be rude or anything, but we really doing it for the audience and for the people. So if they fuck with me, I'm gonna keep doing what I gotta do. I'm not about to listen to another other comedian because that's what he would do. Gotcha, gotcha. Last question, me. right? Mm -hmm. Last question. If you could give any, I mean any, advice to the young boys out there, they probably won't be in your position right now, right? Mm -hmm. this, I'm pretty sure you can see the wave out there. Huh? Niggas tap into your page. They see the views. Right. They see the likes. If you give any advice to them young bulls out there, who would you tell them young bulls? Don't wear a condom. Let me stop. I'm going to chill out. Wear that bitch, please. <laughs> but, but shit, the advice I'm going to give to y'all is, um, shit, I wish I would have I would have learned this like a little bit younger. Right. No matter what people think of you or no matter what they say, fuck Because, shit, at, at the fucking end of the day, you can't please everybody. Right, right. So right. just keep doing you. People love you because of what you're doing. They don't love you because you're doing what he's doing and he's doing to you. Right. And I promise you, you're going to shoot to the top. Facts, 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 right? Fuck This is a closing statement. Solid time. Right? Who? A shout out time. Right. Shout out. So look, anybody out there that you may want to give a shout out to, it's your chance, man. You want to shout out? So you want to shout out? Uh, you want to shout out my cool ass ball over here in the lens, bro. You fuck, boy, look. Let me stop playing, bro. I play. Chill out, bro. Don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid, nah. I want to shout out to <laughs> I ain't gonna really call y'all fans. I'm gonna call y'all supporters. Shout, shout out to everybody that's watching my page, coming to my page, because y'all only doing that because y'all feel real relatable and like, like y'all fuck with it. So I, I feel y'all. So shout out to everybody. Fuck. Right, 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 right. We appreciate that, man. But shout out to Lance too, dog. That's my dog. Yes. Shout out to who? To Lance? <laughs> But you see what he did me? You see this? I, I don't wear hats, but I had to wear a hat for the past two years, son. Huh? You got me fucked up. Well, I can't wait till you get this, bitch. You hear me? Shout out, man. Man, shout out the new Clippers. Bitch, you need something. I ain't talking about LA Clippers, bitch. Barber Clippers. Go back to school. Man, shout out to my dog, man. Anybody else be good? Shout out to the believers. Keep believing. And shout out to everybody. That's been down with me and that's been there. Because I ain't gonna lie, I'm a handful of the devil. Right, right, right. I'm aggravated, you hear me? Right. Gotta shout out my dude, you hear me? Motherfucker T Lo, T Lo, you hear me? T Lo. You know who he is. And he's saying is, why spend when the world spent for you? So everything mm. free. Knowledge. Huh? Knowledge. Nah. Wisdom. Huh? Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom. Alright, that's it, man. Right. That's it. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Yo. Uh -huh. <laughs>